Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we're going to cover the Dark Wood, uh, the Black Marsh, uh, the Tower, and the Tamil Highland. Uh, so let's get started here. We got our level 99, moves very fast. Um, so, one thing to note to go through the Dark Wood with you guys, I'm going to have to go from the Stony Field and then travel through the Underground, and then go to the Dark Wood. If I go here straight, I mean, you're going to see the, the waypoint. You won't be able to see much. I mean, I'd have to go and find the, the map. I'd have to find the entrance, and then, and then you know, the map's already uncovered. But. I want, to show, I want to show it to you guys as if, you know, we're just entering and it's fresh, so. We just load into a new game here. Okay, so go to Nightmare, go back to Normal. Okay, so Stonyfield. So if anything, this is extra practice for uh, the Underground Passage. Where's that mountain ridge? There it is. Okay. So this one goes towards the bottom left. There it is. Alright, so dark wood. Alright, so it's pretty simple. There's two things here that you want to know about. There's there's a tree, and there's an exit to the Black Marsh. That's it. You want to get to the Black Marsh, follow the road. Just follow the road, and you'll get to the Black Marsh. You want to find the tree, basically walk everywhere on the map. Do a zigzag, do whatever you want. Uh, basically, you need to get lucky and find the tree. Waypoint, same thing. It's going to be somewhere random on the map. You just get lucky, you find it. Uh, so if you're doing a hell run, if you absolutely need to find this tree on your run, if it's necessary to go to Tristram or whatever, um, don't take the road. Just immediately go away from the road. Just, um, as, like, the more you get familiar with this game, the more you're gonna realize where the road's going. So you just wanna, you wanna sorta follow the road, but follow it off, off, like, you know, follow it from a distance. Um, the tree is not gonna be on the road. It's gonna be off the road. It doesn't have, it could be beside the road, it could be, like, really far from the road. But you just you want to stay away from the tree. It's sort of like Rack and Issue, where you want to weave. Like there's there's the exit there. Um, but it's, it's completely random. Finding this here, this is completely random. Finding the tree. I mean, from here you just you have to like literally go cover your steps. Um, so it's very it's very tedious. You get lucky, you save time. You don't get lucky. Well, you, it ends up something like Impossible. this. I'm you know, just running around the entire map. And keep in mind, I, I'm running super fast right now. The sorceress is crazy super fast. Um, this takes a lot of time, so... You could also consider, if you're a teleporting character, if you're a character that runs faster later on, um, you can consider holding out on finding this tree. Um, you just go straight to the Black Marsh, do your stuff, level up, come back here when you can teleport, when you run fast, you can check it really fast. But yeah, that's that's the Dark Wood. That's literally the Dark Wood. You uh, fall the road... All the way to the Black Marsh. That's it. That's all there is. Uh, I can run it through you, through with you guys a couple times. I can. Um, one thing to note: if you're dark wood, if the road is, if this was actually over here, or if it was up here, there is a chance for the Black Marsh to have a, a river. Like it'll, if this is the Black Marsh, there'll be a river dividing it, and there's gonna be a bridge. And you can only get that. It's it's only possible. If your dark wood has an exit where it goes towards the top left or the bottom right, uh, so this right here, I know there's no, I know there's no bridge game. It's there's there's no water. There's no nothing. There's there's no bridge. Anyways, let's let's go through a couple dark woods. There's the, there's really nothing to show you guys. Just follow the road. You want the tree? Go look for the tree. Hope you get lucky. Oops, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Let's reset the map. The uh, the more interesting stuff is going to be in the Black Marsh, the Tamil Highland, and the uh, the Tower. So I don't want to spend too much time on this. Uh, let's see. But basically, follow the road. Follow it towards the exit. Hope you get lucky. And hope you find the tree along your way. Okay, I'm being forced left. Still being forced left, huh? What a map. More left. There we go. Okay. Dark wood. Same sort of instance. Okay, another another map where we got lucky. It's like literally right there. Hey, you got lucky. There you go. Got a skill shrine too. Grab a skill shrine, kill the dudes, grab the grab the scroll. Impossible. And then just follow the road all the way to the black marsh. There it is. All right, we'll do one more. One more. Let's see if we can mix this up a little bit. Let's see if we can get something where it's not coming out of here. Maybe if it's coming out of the uh, the ground. 
Uh, if it is coming out of the ground, if the if you're entering from underground, and it's not connected to the wall, um, you have to go towards the top left of the screen, uh, where we want Sunfield. Where's the road? There it is. Okay. Let's see. There it is. Okay, so this one, this road always does some sort of like weird wrap around, and then it's gonna hit this this wall here, and then you're you're gonna be in the black marsh. So as soon as you do this whole underground thing, and it, like it, you're you're in the middle of the middle of the field, you know you can just immediately cut straight up, and it wraps around a lot more actually. There we go. There's black marsh. So this sort of this sort of case, I mean, it sucks because like there's no tree. If you want to find the tree, I mean, you gotta you just you pick a guess, you you take a random guess and. If you get lucky, you get lucky, but it can take a long time. This can you can save a ton of time if you find it early, or you know you can literally rip your run if you don't get it. It's just something you gotta do. Impossible. There's random waypoints. I can't. Impossible. Impossible. Experience shrine. Well, I can't. there's no tree. There is no tree. Okay, let's see right here. Maybe nope. Okay, maybe down here. Down here. Down here. Maybe. Impossible. Well, there you have it. This could be your best friend or your worst nightmare. Finding this tree. Alrighty. Well, that's it for Darkwood. The big takeaway: follow the road. If you're in the middle field, go towards the top left. I can't. Um, you'll get a feel for which way the road's going. Um, if it's coming from the mountain ridge, uh, you'll just you'll get a feel for it. You'll uh, you'll know you'll know if it's going this way. You'll know if it's going straight. I can't. But generally, if you're looking for the tree, Impossible. try to stay away from the road. Alrighty. Uh, so Black Marsh. Since we're entering, uh, we're going towards the top left. There's a chance for a bridge game. Um, there's a chance that it's not a bridge game, but. Uh, Basically, if you're looking for the tower, um, it's going to be... Hang on. If you're looking for the tower or the waypoint, it's going to be adjacent to these uh, these markings on the map, these walls. It'll be anywhere along these these walls or the inside walls. And if it's not there, check just below the cave and check in the middle of the field. It's less likely to be in the, mid uh, uh, below, in the middle of the field or below the cave. Uh, it's more likely to be against these walls here. So... Um, typically, you want to stay away from the road when you're looking for these two things. Um, so there's there's a tower next to the wall, and there's a random waypoint that we. It's actually a really nice map. Got lucky. If there's any shrines, wow, it's a river game too. Wow, got really lucky that it's um, that these two elements are on the same side. Usually, it's one side here, and then you have to go all the way around to get to the other one, to get to the other to the to the waypoint. You have to cross the bridge. Um, but anyways, it's just it's gonna be next to these walls. And you can see there's some distance here. Uh, it, it varies, but more likely than not, you follow the walls, you'll find your stuff. Uh, to get to Tamil Highlands, you just you follow the road, and it should take you there. There should be two roads. One will take you to the uh, the hole, and one will take you straight to the Tamo or Tamo Highland. All right, there it is. We'll do a couple of these because uh, this can actually this can actually take a lot of time. Uh, there's a lot of emphasis on having a shrine next to your tower. If you're doing tower runs, or you're doing countess runs for runes. Um, it's a good idea to not accept a run unless you get a, a couple shrines. If, if not here, then at least get like a shrine here, Cold Plains or the Stony or the Darkwood, if you find those those waypoints. Um, but just because you find a, a tower, or sorry, a waypoint and a tower next to each other, I can't. Um, you can actually still get a very slow run. These shrines are so important. The skill shrines, the experience shrines are way more important than this close distance. I'd rather take a, a map where the uh, waypoint is up here and I get maybe one, two shrines and then I get a tower. I'd, I'd definitely take that over this right here. This is still decent. One shrine is all you need. You get your experience shrine every, every time. I mean, it's worth it. I'd rather have two shrines, to be honest. Impossible. Alrighty. Um, let's do a couple uh, runs here. Um, Black Marsh? No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, let's pretend we didn't do that. Darkwood. Oh, look at that. 
Actually, no, it doesn't work because we're supposed to be finding that. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's go back to normal. Dark wood. Alright, we gotta find the road. Impossible. Tree. Hello, tree. Okay, that's gonna be... We can look at this. Um, so the road just it goes down this way. One thing you can do is you can take just on the outside of the road, and then you can follow this way. If you don't see the road, like, cutting you off, intersecting, you know it's it's more likely going to be along this wall. If you see it cutting off, then you can you could pretend, or you could imagine that it might do something like this. Where you can you can adjust your, your path. But, uh... Now you know it's gonna it's gonna take you over here. Okay, so we're entering from the top right, so we know there's no bridge game. Uh, so worst case scenario, waypoints on one side, towers all the way on the other, on the other side. But you just you follow that sort of pattern. You look against the walls and see if you can find the waypoint and the tower. There's the waypoint. Um, this sort of marsh stuff here, you can't cross this. You see this stuff? There's no there's no tower around. There's no uh, there's no waypoint around. You can't there's it can't be here. Um, try and. Uh, so this is just the edge of the map. This is taking you, if you follow the road, this will take you to the Tamil Highland. Just to show you. There it is. Uh, but you'll never have to cross this bridge at all to ever get to the tower, because that's, that's directly to the Tamil Highland. Alright, so just continue. And this also, the, the river counts as a wall as well. The, the tower could be uh, against the river. Just keep following. Keep following. Impossible. And there it is. That's a... Uh, it's almost corner to corner map. Let's see here. Hell Shrine, two Hell Shrines. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Now if you take more direct routes. Impossible. Looks like you get no shrines. This would be this would be a pretty bad map to to run. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the idea. You follow the wall and you just you go around the entire map. Let's see if we can get a map where we can't find the waypoints of the tower against the wall. It's gonna be rather difficult because uh, it's more likely to be against the wall, that's why we go against the walls. But let's see if we can find uh, an odd case. Okay. Alright, so out of curiosity, let's see if this spawns in the middle of the field. There it is. The spawn is in the middle of the field, so you, just, you literally cut straight up. Okay, so this is another potential bridge game. I'm not sure yet. But just follow the wall. There's a waypoint. Let's see if the tower is going to be along the walls as well. Um, eventually, okay, so since I see this this road here, I know that this can be Tamil Highland, so there's no bridge. There's no bridge. Um, eventually, you'll get a feel for how wide this map is. As, as you can see here, I didn't check this entire thing, because I know it's, it can't be in this little wedge here, this little triangle. I know it can't be there. It's just Impossible. I'm comfortable with the distance. Um, Impossible. Where, like, how far I am from the wall, I'm comfortable with that. I, I know if it's, something's going to be there or not. Alright, so this one looks like it's just against the road in the middle of nowhere. This is one of those odd cases right there. Where it's just, this could cause you a lot of pain. If you hug this wall too much, you wouldn't find it. And there's no real easy way to find this one either. It's just, I got lucky, I was, I was very wide. I, I was walking very wide. Which is a good practice, you should walk wide. If you start bumping into the wall, you're too close to the wall. It should just be... Just outside of uncovering this wall, Impossible. that's where you should be. Alrighty. I can. And here's an inside wall. So once again, the waypoint in the tower, it could be next to one of these inside walls as well. Uh, these little pockets here... Um, Impossible. It can be inside here. Like, for example, if, if you're walking, if you're uh, crossing this wall here, if you see this marsh, you know, okay, it's a pocket. And there's marsh, there can't be anything back here. There's nothing back here. But let's say there's no marsh here, there's a chance you could find the waypoint or the tower. It's not very likely, but it does happen. Anyway, so, as you can see here, middle of nowhere. Sometimes it happens, you get lucky. There's a cave here, if you look directly down, I mean, you might be able to find something there. But anyways, if you're having trouble, if you can't find something, look directly down or look in the middle field. Start looking in the middle of the field, literally in the middle of the field. Those are the last two spots. Uh, we'll do one more. These maps are pretty straightforward. You just follow the wall, follow the road. You find what you're looking for. Let's see. Road. 
road, mountain ridge. So this is probably a fake road or an encampment. Yeah, this is an encampment. So you can follow this way. There's no intersection, so you know it's probably gonna be up here. There it is. Let's follow this wall. Impossible. Voodoo encampment. Um, for me, I personally like killing these uh, encampments as I'm walking by them, for experience. But anyways, that's that's a whole different thing. We're just we just care about maps right now. Okay, river. I can. Okay, I think I saw some torches. That's also one thing to note. If you see a torch like that, check it out. Waypoint will always have two torches next to it like that. Um, and that wasn't even showing up on the map Impossible. there. Even the illumination will help too. Um, there's actually been a couple runs where I, I spotted that. Even in broad daylight, you can still see it's a little brighter sometimes. Especially in like Act 2. Anyways, so boom, right there. Waypoint. And that, that could have cost a lot of time if, if you don't if you don't take advantage of spotting a torch. You can walk around the entire map and then look, it's actually next to the cave. Anyways, let's keep going. Let's let's look for this uh, this tower. Just keep going. There's a tower. Here's another really bad case where it's just in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I guess in this case, it's next to the, the cave. Always check out the cave. If you can't find something, look check the cave. Impossible. But if we were to just go around this entire map... That's basically your map. That's the entire map. Okay. There's no way to tell if the road is going to take you to the cave or not. Just guess. Take a guess. If it, if you feel like you're along an edge and the road's taking towards that towards that edge, it's a good chance it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the exit. This one here. I mean, it, it's hard to tell. It really is hard to tell because this could lead you straight to the bridge. And then you could be finding an exit, but I mean, as soon as you see this, you see it veering off, well, there you go. There's a cave. There's no real easy way to tell. You just, you have to make a, a guess. But anyways, here's a tower. Sorry, here's a tower. Here's a waypoint next to this cave. That's, that's Black Marsh. Um, so let's go over the Tamil Highland. So no matter which way you enter the Tamil Highland, you want to make your way towards the top right of the screen. No matter where you go. Just always, don't even, don't even follow the road, just go straight towards the top right. Just keep going towards the top right. And it'll take you to the castle, or the monastery gate. And there's a the door. You can follow the road, sure. Just make your way towards the top right. Uh, typically you don't want to end up over here, where I did. You want to end up somewhere close to the door. So just sort of gauge where you think you are. Um, so if you're entering in from the bottom right, I mean... Maybe not go more like this, go, go straight up. Impossible. If you're over here, if you're entering in from this side. Same sort of idea, like don't don't try don't try to hug the wall. You, you gotta cover some distance to get to that to that door. Um, you're gonna have to use your judgment based on, you know, where I can. where this is positioned. You know, if it, if this is down here, obviously the angle is gonna be different. If it's over here, the angle's gonna be different. Uh, it's hard to tell these things, but anyways, you always wanna go towards the top right. I can. Nothing really interesting here. A lot of projectiles, a lot of spear ladies. You can kill them for experience if you want. Uh, but anyways, you make your way to the Impossible. door. Here's the door, monastery gate. And here we are, Arctic closer. Um, you know what, let's cover this in the in the, um, in the video as well, and then we'll go through the uh, the tower. Um, so there's three different uh, outer cloisters. Uh, three different centerpieces. And each different orientation will, each different centerpiece will uh, tell you whether you need to go this way, this way, or this way. Uh, so this sort of plus sign here, this tells me that I need to go this way to get to the barracks. So let's let's show you the two dead ends here. Right, there's nothing here. Left, there's nothing here. And then you have the barracks right up here. Great. Um, let's do a couple of these maps. We'll go from the Black Marsh. Okay. Look at that spawn. Um, there's also a chance if you ever go from the waypoints, if you ever reset your map, I could be walking to the dark wood right now. There's no way to tell. Impossible. Just hope you get lucky. Okay, so Mountain Ridge. I actually, I have a feeling I'm going back to the underground or the dark wood. Actually, wait a minute. No, that'd be the hole. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. That'd be the hole. Anyways, there's dark wood. That'd be the hole. Okay. 
Temo Highland. All right, so we're on this side now. Make your way towards the gate. There it is. Okay. That's it's pretty straightforward. Just always go towards the top right. Go towards this line here. All right, let's see what this orientation is. Uh, the monastery. Okay, we got another plus line. So that immediately, that tells me... Right up here. Barracks. Um... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep resetting this map. I'll, I'll spawn in here from the outer cloister, and we'll look at this, the different centerpieces. We'll just spawn them in, and I'll show you guys the, uh, the different layouts. Outer cloister, okay, it's the same thing. Same thing. Oh, what a pain. Okay, here's a different one. Um, so this one, you have the fountain um, and the waypoint down here. Now, it's very important. All you really need to know is that there's a fountain here and there's a waypoint. The, the position of the waypoint tells you whether you need to go this way or this way. If the waypoint's over here, you need to go over here. If the waypoint's over here, you need to go over here. Just go on the opposite side of the waypoint. Um, so let's uncover the two dead ends here. There's one dead end. Here's the other dead end. Okay. So this waypoint with this fountain equals... Barracks. Um, it's going to be tough to show you guys. It's going to be tough to get an instance where the waypoint's here and the fountain's here. I'll try. I'll try one more. One more time. If it's not here, I mean, just I'm telling you now. If the waypoint's here and you see the fountain, go this way. All right. Um, you know what? It'll work in Nightmare as well. Okay. No. Let's go back to normal, and then we'll go through the tower. Uh, we'll look, look. We'll look at the outer cloister on our way to the tower. Okay, yeah. Here's another plus sign. So go up this way. Alrighty. Okay. So Black Marsh. Wow, another tower. Um, so the tower. This is probably the most important part of a normal speed run. A lot of time is spent here. Um, maybe a good 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, sometimes you're lucky. Sometimes it takes like 15 minutes. Anyways. Um, so the the rule is, let me kill these, uh... There's five, there's five levels in the tower. Um, you have to work your way down towards Countess, who's on level five. And the rule is, uh, go left. So this is our first room here. There's that box. Exiting this room through this door. Sorceress is facing towards the bottom left. Now, if she wanted to make a left turn, she's going towards the bottom right of the screen. So, the final room is going to look like a box... We are going towards the bottom right. So this immediately tells me, hey, I want to go through every single door where I'm going towards the bottom right. So I hit a wall, so you have to adjust your course. Impossible. And there it is. There's the hallway. And there's your exit, exit block towards the bottom right. So this way is straight towards the bottom left. And you want to make that left turn to go towards the bottom right. Same thing. Every single tower level is towards the left. So this one here is your opening block. Exiting towards the bottom right. If the sorceress is facing this way, she needs to make a left turn. She's going to go towards the top right. So here we go. Top right. Boom. Sometimes you get all sorts of weird patterns where you're doing all sorts of loops and whatever. And then you go. And then there's your exit block. Sometimes your first left turn is a dead end. It could be nothing. It happens. This one's actually a really good case. Um... You could actually argue that it's a bad case because there's no elites around. Impossible. Um, unless you do some fishing here. But anyways, let's let's go through the tower, and then I'll talk about elite spawns and treasure chests later on. Um, so here's your other one. Here's your box. This way is straight towards the top left. Make that left turn. Boom. There's Countess. Uh, er, uh, there's level four. Box. And there's your exit towards the first room, towards the bottom left. So if I wanted to make a, a left turn, go towards the top right. All right, there it is. Easy peasy. Um, and let's go through the Countess. So Countess, there's two different layouts. Um, there's one where you go towards uh, the top right. There's one where you go towards the top uh, left. At least I think there is. I'm pretty sure there is. Impossible. Anyways, uh, Countess, she's just going to be back here. Kill Countess. Get your runes, chest opens. Um, 
Now let's go over elite spawns and uh, treasure Impossible. chests. Okay, so let's uh, let's do another map. Let's see here, Black Marsh. Actually, you know what? Before I talk about elite spawns and treasure chests, let me let me just go through the decision making, like without actually explaining it. I'll just I'll sort of run it on my own. Uh, so left turn. I want to go this way. There we go. Left turn. There we go. Left turn. I can. There we go. And left turn. There we go. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. That's it. Okay, so let's go over elite packs and treasure chests. Two very important things why you're doing your Countess runs. Uh, so the, the idea is the whole reason why we do Countess runs on a speedrun is it's worth a ton of gold and experience. Um, there's also the opportunity for runes, which you use for building stealth or leaf or two rowels and a helmet. A whole bunch of great stuff. The runes are also worth a lot of gold. Uh, the items you find also worth a lot of gold. Or it can be. Alright, so let's go over some of these blocks here. Some of the blocks that you want to look for. If you see that block, you definitely want to check it out sort of deal. Alright, so triple ladies, the, the one, two, and then the dead body. Uh, there's a chance that elite spawn in here. So always be alert about that. If you see these ladies, just look around. You could even possibly like just fish a little bit here, here. If you see any elites, great. If you don't see any, move on. Um, one thing to note, if an elite spawns, there's a good chance that elite is going to spawn there again. So for example, if I did a little fishing, I see elites in here. The next time I do this tower, I want to check here for elites again. Um, it's a good idea to, to click on the ladies here. It's instant. You can find rings, amulets, jewels. All sorts of great stuff. Let's see here. Is this a super chest? No. Let's see. What do we have over here? So this right here, this is a super chest. Uh, typically, you don't want to ever go in this room on a speedrun. But if you have to make a mistake and you go into this room, there's a chance that this chest right here will drop a ton of stuff. Two candles and it's like a, a super bright chest. Alright, we got nothing in that one. But that is a super chest. It's it's packed with all sorts of goodies. If you happen to make a mistake, or if if the map happens to take you there, check it out. Uh, click on it. I can't. All right, so elite pack, uh, long hallway. There's a chance for an elite pack to spawn there. Uh, I want to show you the the ones where there's guaranteed elites. So triple ladies once again. Um, usually there's only one elite pack on a level. Sometimes you're lucky and there are two. Um, but anyways, nonetheless, triple ladies. Uh, the map is telling me to go towards the bottom left. If I don't find an elite pack, I'm going to fish real quick. There's a chest. It's not super bright, though. Um, here we go. I can. Uh, it's also a good idea if there's a, a ton of graves, you can click on those as well. These ones here. These, this sort of setup here. This one's good, too. Uh, sometimes the graves are a little sticky. Like, they won't actually open. If it doesn't open, I mean, just move on. Impossible. Nothing here. You typically don't want to ever go in this this sort of room here, the, the uh, caskets. You will see this a lot, though. Click on these graves. No chest. Okay, so there's a, there's a map that looks like this. Uh, there is typically an elite that spawns in one of these side rooms here. Um, look for bright lights. Either a bright light is going to be like one of those torch dudes or an elite pack. There's an elite pack right there. Impossible. Um, what I like to do is I like to go straight to Countess and hope that I find the elite. If I'm feeling lucky and I'm in here, I didn't find an elite yet, I'll check this one. And then from there, if I see a bright light, yeah, I'll check it out. But usually, I'll leave it. Usually I'll leave it and I'll just... Yeah, you, you have to vary. You have to, you have to gauge based on how much experience you have, uh, how much time you've already spent, whether you want experience or whether you want to focus more on killing Countess for runes. But anyways, kill Countess... Grab your runes, move on. Let's see if I can get the spawn for the uh, the other super chest, the, the, the really important one. And uh, the guaranteed elites. It's actually, it's not guaranteed elites, but there's a very, 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 very high likelihood that if you find this certain room, 
you will find a pack of elite monsters that you can kill for lots of experience. No tower. There it is. Okay. Impossible. All right, so pentagram. Um, you can actually avoid the fire if you hug the edges there. Just sort of hug the edges. You should be able to avoid it. Um, fire, I believe it does uh, a fraction of your current life in damage. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But anyways, that, that, that fire can get you killed. There's monsters chasing you. You walk on this fire, you get hit stunned. Uh, the, the monsters will catch up to you. They'll hit you. I'm sorry, I, like all the, the sound. I don't know if that, went, if that was clear. Um, all the shooting and stuff. So if you stand on this fire and there's monsters chasing you, uh, there's a chance early on that you're going to take a ton of damage or you're going to get hit stunned for a billion years. And these monsters, they will catch up to you and they will circle you or they will hit you and you'll probably die. So just be careful with this fire. Try to walk on the edges. You don't get uh, hit very often walking on the edges. Impossible. Okay. So nothing too exciting about this map. There's a lot of these sort of squares um, in this map, and then you'll see like there's a weapon rack. It's always a good idea to click on these weapon racks, um, but typically you'll see one or two squares in a tower run, sort of like this. Let's see. Okay, here it is. If you ever see a room like this, if you're ever on your way towards the uh, the exit, sometimes you're forced to go through a room like this. This right here is a super chest. Whenever you see a room like this where there's a, a sort of a T-shape and a chest right there, you want to click on that thing. You can find rings, jewels, amulets, all sorts of goodies in that thing. Um, here's some more graves. You always want to click on these graves. Elite pack. Alright, there's another one of those squares that I was talking about. Uh, but typically there is an elite pack somewhere on each level. You just have to find them. Uh, for something like this, I would literally I would just run straight in here. I would not worry about all this. This is way too far. You don't want to invest all this time. You just want to make your way to the next level. On a really good run, you're going to find your elite packs. You're going to find your exit all at the same time. It's going to happen all at the same time. This is actually a very good level. We started with an elite pack. Impossible. And we just found the guaranteed elite room. So there's actually two elite packs here. This is great for getting experience. And there's a lady there, too. Um, so, <clears throat> this is the room. This is it. Whenever you see this, this L shape here, this sort of corner with the lady, this generally means there's a pack of elite monsters that you can kill for experience. Very, very rare occasions where it's, like, really short. The entrance uh, to the room is very short. Um, on those occasions, there's no elite pack. But I'm going to say 90 out of 100 times, there's going to be... And elite pack there. And we got a super chance. So this is actually a really good, really good uh, level. So as I was saying before, if you find elite packs, chances are they're going to spawn there again. And then we have a second elite pack here. I can't. Super chest. It's locked. This is a great tower. And all we need is an exit. Okay, it would have been perfect if the exit was literally right there. We got a square and then we probably have something going straight and then left. Okay, just left. Square. Anyways. That's it. That's your tower. Make those left turns. Okay. Look for your elite packs. Click on things like these weapon racks. This is also a very common room to, to run across. Uh, something to note. These uh, items that dropped, the, the Targe and the Qatar. Chances are you're going to see these items again if you click on these same uh, racks again. Sometimes there's a secondary item that might drop. So for example, a dagger might drop here and like a, a quilted armor might drop here. But more likely than not, you will see multiple Targes, multiple Qatars. Or these might be the secondary items on the on the rack. You might actually see more quilted armors here. But it, it, it's consistent. What I'm trying to say is the items that drop are very consistent. Uh, so you could farm for something. If your Necromancer happens to drop a preserved head or a zombie head, well, you you, de you definitely want to click on this thing every single time. Um, so here's a tower level 5. Make your way in. There's Countess. Kill Countess. Uh, something to note. If Countess spawns outside the room, like right here, Chances are she's going to spawn here most of the time. Um, so instead of walking around the far side here, you can make an adjustment. You can start walking along this side here and kill Countess. Uh, sometimes she'll shift. Uh, I think it might be based on where the elites spawn. If the if the, there's a secondary elite to pack and they spawn over here, it might change whether she spawns up top. It might change whether she spawns in here or in here. I can't confirm that yet. Uh, but here's our, here's our second elite pack. Um, you never guarantee an only pack, um, but usually you will find one. Usually you'll find one, and then in the Countess, I mean, in the Countess level 5, you'll find Countess as well. But for level 1, 2, 3, 4, 
you're usually going to find the elite pack. If you don't, I mean, you're having a bad run. If you don't have a close exit, if you don't have um, elite packs, you're, you're having a bad run, you have a bad tower. If the distance is very long, you're having a bad tower run, you're, bad, you're having a bad run. Um, don't be fooled by having a really good setup outside. So the Black Marsh, you might have like three, four shrines. You might have a waypoint right here. You might think it's really good, and all of a sudden your tower is huge. Uh, that's actually really bad. You can you can do better with a smaller tower packed with tons of elite monsters um, and a very very bad um, black marsh if the distance like halfway across the screen. Uh, if this tower is good, I mean that's you can have a great run. If the tower is bad and you have a really good black marsh, you're gonna have a horrible time. So like this right here, this is very long. Um, so it's it's something it's it's not something you want to go for. Here's our elite, uh, or, or, sorry, our super chest. So you want to click on that. You want to make your way towards the left. And there it is. There's a chance that um, this could actually take you to a dead end, and then you'd actually ha you'd have to backtrack and make your way up and go left. But anyways, always go left. It's sort of like the underground. Um, the rule is, you know, in this case, go left. So if you can go left, go left. Underground passage. If you can go straight, go straight. Same sort of idea. If you can go left, go left. Never guaranteed anything. Um, you just want to follow those rules because more often than not, you will find something. You'll find an exit. Uh, but it's, it's never a bad idea to fish um, for the elites. There's an elite there. So now I know, okay, tower level 3. If I want an elite pack, I can check down here real quick and then pop up over here. Tower level 4. So exit's probably over here. You can do a little bit of fishing. I, I wouldn't recommend doing too much fishing. Like, for me, this is too far. I would I would not want to go any farther. I'll check this real quick, and then I'm out. All right, so level five. So, uh, it's really hard to walk slowly with the, this, the sorceress. But anyways, you want to look for bright lights. You want to look for those elite packs. There's the bright lights. There's, there's the elite. That's it. That's that's a tower. That's, that's a black marsh. That's a dark wood. There's not too many complicated things with these couple maps here. So Darkwood, just to recap, Darkwood, wherever that road is. Okay, Black Marsh. Where's that tree? Okay, there's a tree. Okay, so wherever, <clears throat> where the road is, you follow that road, that's going to take the Black Marsh. Tree, hope you get lucky. As you can see, I teleport all over the place. Waypoint, same sort of idea as the stream. It's going to be somewhere random. Hope you get lucky. Uh, let's go Black Marsh. Black Marsh, your tower, your waypoint. Usually going to be next to the walls. And don't forget, the river counts as a wall. This one's actually more... This right here works. This, the corner... Um, it, it's actually a far distance from the corner. Uh, something I forgot to mention, actually. Always check your corner. Check wide from the corner, because it could be there. Uh, this waypoint here, this is random. This is you, you, like this is a lucky find. Um, but yeah, tower and waypoint always going to be close to these walls here. The outside walls, the inside walls, anything where there's a wall, there's a chance for a tower and a waypoint. And your Tamil Highland. Make your way towards the top right. Follow the road, don't follow the road, just go towards the top right. There you go. Uh, and then you have your three sections for here. The center piece is going to tell you which way you need to go. So if you have this plus sign here, go towards the top right. Top right. If you have waypoints on this side, you have a fountain, you need to go towards the top left. If you have a fountain, you have a waypoint up here, go towards the bottom right. Sorry, did I say top? Impossible. Go towards the top left here. If there's a fountain, sorry, if there's a fountain, and a waypoint to go towards the top left. And there's a fountain and a waypoint to go towards the bottom right. Anyways, that's it. Plus sign, barracks. There it is. Alrighty. So next video, we'll cover the barracks, the jail, and I suppose the catacombs. Alrighty, take care, everybody. Good luck.